Say it loud. And is there a voice in your head telling you to do that? So it says, does it tell you how to kill yourself? That is a demon and its name. Louder. Speak. Bit of my ears. You ain't worth nothing. You are yeah. almost yeah. you. Yeah. It just makes you feel more than you are. Yeah. Alright, so that, that thing is a bad spirit. Its name is a spirit of suicide and it works with another spirit called the spirit of death. But I've got good news for you. The spirit of God is right here. Right while we're talking, God's spirit is here. And he's like light and his evil spirits are like darkness. <laughs> so I'm going to ask you to ask Jesus and his light to come in. And when his light comes in, then I'm going to command the bad stuff, the evil spirits, to come out. Does that make sense? Okay, but when, when you pray this, I want you to mean it with your heart, though. Because God loves you very much. And he died for you and you cost him everything. And he's not a religion. He's real. Okay, you ready? Just like I'm real right now, so, so is Jesus. Right? So just pray with me. Say, Dear Jesus, I thank you that you love me. I thank you that you died for me on that cross. And that you rose again from the dead. And that you showed me victory over the devil. And victory over every demon spirit. I renounced a lie that I want to kill myself. And I repent for trying to hang myself. I no longer believe those lies. Jesus, so I choose Jesus, not demons, life, and not death. Fill me with your Holy Spirit, and forgive me for all my many sins. Okay, listen bro, God forgives you for every mistake you've ever made. He doesn't, he doesn't mind whether you want to live in a house or live on the street. But um, I believe that he does have a house for you. Oh, I think he does. Yeah. You don't have to stay on the street forever. Alright. Now let's get rid of that spirit of suicide because we've broken agreement with it with our mouth, but it still needs to come out. So you're going to feel some pressure in the stomach and chest, and you're probably going to cough it out. Okay, so just relax. Spirit of suicide, spirit of death, and every other evil and unclean spirit of Satan, out now. Come out of his stomach, come out of his chest, come out of his head. We know you're in there, we have authority over you, and we command you to submit and come out now. Spirit of suicide, spirit of death, come out of it, now. Okay, come out, cough it out, now. Out of the stomach and out of the chest, come out. Every spirit, come out of him now. Now, now, let him go. Up and out. Out of the stomach, out of the chest, and out of his head, right now. How many spirits are in here? How many spirits are in here? Come out. Up and out of him. Up and out of him, right now. Out. Satan and spirits of death and suicide, out. Up and out, right now, let him go. Up and out of him, out of the stomach, out of the chest, out of the head, right now, up and out of him. Come out, let him go. Suicide and death, come out. Out. Now, let him go. Out of his stomach, out of his chest. We know you're in there, we have authority over you according to the word of God, come out. We have authority over you, you evil and unclean spirits. Out of his stomach, out of his chest. Now, every spirit, let him go. Out. Now, let him go. Every single spirit in here, come out. So what are you feeling, bro? Tell us, you feel pressure in this chest? Pressure, yeah. Do you feel dizziness in the head? Dizziness. Yeah, bro, you know what that is? Jesus setting you free from evil spirits that have been tormenting you, bro. So that, that Jesus that people read about in the book that's 2,000 years old, that Jesus just came to life right in front of your face today. And he just set you free from demon spirits. And now you can realize that who was oppressing you wasn't necessarily any particular person or any particular government. The main thing that was oppressing you was Satan's demons. Do you understand that? Yeah. So this, the thing telling you to go kill yourself, it wasn't Boris Johnson, it wasn't a person, it wasn't white man, black man. What was telling you to kill yourself was an evil spirit inside you that works for Satan the devil, trying to destroy your life. 
So your enemy is not people. Your enemy is Satan, the devil. And he was the, he was the main one trying to destroy life. And you know what else? It's probably the reason you're homeless is because of all these demons. Yeah. When, when a person has lots of bad spirits, it, it kind of makes them a bit hard to live with because they end up with addictions, sometimes violence and anger. Um, Mom, you know. Mom, Ang anger, anger, or you can probably see it yourself. Um, yeah. self yeah. that's just that's a demon that wants you to do that. Self harming yeah. is a demon. Yeah. 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 So it's going to be it's going to be a lot easier now. Does that make sense? Ninety percent of your battle is these is these spirits. All right. Let's just look at the smiles. Let's make sure we can see. How many evil and unclean spirits are still in here? How many spirits are still in here? How many? How many evil spirits are still in here? How many evil spirits? Come out. Out of his stomach. Come out of his chest. Come out of his head. Now, open the mouth and come out. Now. Out, every spirit, come out of him, out of the stomach, out of the chest, and out of the head, right now. Out, out, up and out, come out, every spirit, out, every satanic spirit. Anger and rage, lust and perversion, out now. Anger and rage, come out. Self-hatred and self-harm, come out. Self-hatred and self-harm, come out of him. Come out, self-hatred and self-harm, come out of him, let him go. Come out, right now, out of his mouth, pop it out. Puff it out, puff it out right now, out of his mouth, out of his head, out, now, that's right, up, all the way out, all the way out, all the way out, right now, up and out of him. Do you feel pressure then? Yes. yes. Did it come up to the throat? Yeah, did you ever feel it come out the throat? Okay, look at me. Every evil spirit in his chest, come out of him now. You can't live here anymore, come out of his chest. Come out of his chest, come out of his head, come out now, right now. All the way, up and out of him. Out of his stomach, every evil and unclean spirit. Out of his stomach, out of his chest, and out of his head. Right now, all the way out. Up and out, you can't live here anymore. You can't live here anymore. Every evil and unclean spirit, you can't live here anymore. Come out, come out, let him go, let him go. Come out, right now. Every spirit, up and out of him. You feel the pressure coming through his throat that time? Jesus is sitting in the throat. So, what you need is not just one prayer, one prayer, see you later. What you need is you need to read the Bible, especially the New Testament that talks about Jesus. The words in red were the ones said by Jesus.